hello there welcome to another video by RA solutions in this video what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you a very quick guide on how to use GCSE pod now what GCSE pod is it allows teachers educators to build quick um, resources assignments quizzes that to give to the students so they are able to test the students knowledge and then they can find knowledge gaps within the students and focus on um, specific strategies to try and improve their learning. You can keep track of progress with their robust and detailed reporting and intervene intelligently where support is needed the most. Let's find out how to get onto GCSE Pod. So if you go into Google, uh, type in www.gcsepod.com and when you click on enter, what you will find it will load up this main screen here. If I go into the what is GCSE pod section you will get a quick video um, a presentation 20 seconds showing you what value GCSE pod has to school so they're saying it's value for money comprehensive project support uh, works for all attainers that's low middle and high and it benefits the whole school there's lots of different subjects I think there's 20 different subjects and there's a really comprehensive reporting structure so if I just click on login and it, what it will ask me here for my login I'm just gonna click on login here and it will take me to the login screen now here there's lots of different options now the first time I used GCSE pod um, in terms of the navigation I found it quite tricky to understand where things were so the more you play around with it you'll and the more you'll know where things are now if I go onto my courses here at the top you can see all the different courses uh, or the subjects that we my school are currently subscribed to so there's quite a few schools and um, sorry subjects there that our educators our teachers can um, deliver to the students and if I go to back to my dashboard here what I can do is I'm going to show you very quickly what GCSE GCSE pod is all about I'm going to create a, an assignment so if I click on create an assignment what I can do here is click on this blue button here to create a new assignment and then what it will do it will give me lots of different options to choose from this is like a little wizard for you to choose from okay so first and foremost um, I'm gonna select my pod that's what an assignment is an assignment is another way for it is called a pod so I'm gonna choose computing in this um, example there's lots of different departments to choose from here then it will go specifically what subject within computer science and ICT do I want to choose. I'm going to choose ICT for this example and then what topic within ICT do I want. Um, I'm going to choose, I don't know, spreadsheets. Um, so there's lots of examples to choose from here. I'm going to choose spreadsheets there. Then I scroll down and for spreadsheets there are 10 different pods available. If I click on all it will on the right side here it will tell me what pods I've selected so introduction to spreadsheets all the way down to number 10 which is charts and that covers most of what spreadsheets is all about if I scroll down here click on go to next step what it will do now it will ask me do I want to create a question choose some questions or skip this step now from the pods I've selected I want to choose the questions within that pod. Now it will come up with this pop-up box here. Now there's 40 possible questions in the spreadsheet pod. I'm going to click on the plus sign here, then choose which questions I want to add to my assignment. So I want to add um, introduction to spreadsheets, um, and those are the four questions in that section. I'm happy with that. Um, four questions on spreadsheet formulae. And then once I'm happy, I can hide my details here so those are all my questions eight questions in total scroll down and I'm happy with that introduction to spreadsheets and spreadsheet formulae and click on next step there and then it will ask me for an assignment um, title I'm gonna put spreadsheet don't need to put a description don't need to put an instruction don't need to put a tagging and I could put a deadline date for my assignment so I can put next you know 
sometime in April, click on the next step and then it will ask me which classes of mine do I want to send or assign this pod or assignment to. Now the good thing about GCSE pod when you buy it through your school um, GCSE pod the company will speak to your data managers and you can link sync GCSE pod up to whatever um, school information management system you have we have sims in our school so it's linked nicely to sims um, but if you have another one like CMS or any others you can link it to that quite easily but obviously you will need to speak to the company to get that set up so I'm going to click on my class groups and choose my year 11 group scroll down go to my next step and it will show me what I've selected my preview there um, you can preview as a student if I click on the preview as a student button what I can see is what the pupil will see and the good thing about GCSE pod it will show a little video here a uh, little snippet there you go you can see a bit of information about that specific section then you've got the questions you need to answer there if I close my preview button and click on publish and assign what it will do it will give me a URL I'll copy that URL um, email that to the students and they will be able to get on with doing that assignment there so that's really a quick video showing you um, how to set up GCSE pod how to set your first pod uh, as an assignment you can set it up as a homework so they can do it at home you can set it up as a plenary so at the end of the lesson or as a starter so they can do it at the start but the good thing about it you can get a detailed report that will be in one of my next videos but well, this video it was showing you how to set up your first assignment pod I hope this video has helped you uh, please like subscribe and share